Hey Tarot Tigers, this is Miss O'Telling here and I just wanted to talk to you about emotions and feelings and, and what we can do about that. At this time it is so stressful and I don't know about you but I'm feeling anxious at times, worried about what's going to happen, kind of mad sometimes that why can't we go back to our schools? Why can't we be back in the classrooms? I miss my friends and I'm sure you do too. So I don't know about you but I've got a lot of emotions to deal with. So. There are lots of things that we can do about it, okay? And I know Dr. Warnock showed you the glitter bottle and where you can watch the glitter settle and as it's settling, you can breathe and it helps you calm. That's definitely one wonderful way to do that. I'm gonna show you a few other ways. So first, when you're having that thought or that feeling that's mad or sad or angry or worried or anxious, first, stop and think. Well, wait a minute, what am I gonna think about? Well, what you can think about is what you can do instead of hitting, kicking, yelling, screaming, crying, or not listening and, and refusing to do what your parents are telling you to do or, or being mean to your brother or sister. So instead of those things, you gotta stop and think and you can have some ideas about, well, what am I gonna do? Well. This is kind of a choice board for things that you can do when you are feeling angry or worried or any of those other emotions. And one thing you can do is you can go to a quiet place in your house and maybe just kind of sit there and squeeze a pillow or if you happen to have a, um, a little stress ball or even a sock you can roll up and squeeze it. Um, that might help you and do that for a few minutes or you can do think time. Um, you can close your eyes and think to yourself, instead of being mad, sad, or worried, I can think to myself, you know what? We're at home because we all need to start feeling better and we don't want it to get worse. And it will get better and we will get back to school. So you can change your thinking. You can close your eyes and change your thinking. Another thing you can do is it's called take five breathing, okay? And this is, um, and one thing you can do is maybe paint your hand and make your own hand for your take five breathing. Or if you can't do that, just get out your hand like this and start breathing. And what you do is when you're feeling upset, you start at the bottom and you move up and you hold your breath and then you let it go. And then you breathe in again and pause hold and then let it out and you do that all the way through all your fingers and guess what if you're still feeling upset at that time do it again start over again but remember you take deep breaths through your nose pause and hold and then let go through your mouth okay that's one another one you can do another thing is I don't know if you've ever seen something like this but this is called a grumpy stone or a worry stone okay so yeah doesn't he look grumpy but guess what he, <laughs> he is um, he absorbs or takes in all my emotions so anytime I'm feeling upset I get out my worry stone and I just I kind of rub it and I think about the things that are worrying me and as I'm rubbing I start to think about all the happy things and and things that make me feel better and all of a sudden the worry stone or grumpy stone or angry stone or sad stone has all my emotions in it and I feel better. So guess what? If you don't have a stone that has a face like this, you can in your own neighborhood or in your own backyard, you can just go out and you can pick up your own rock. Okay. And you can paint it. You can give it a face or you can paint little designs on it or write the word sad or mad or angry. And anytime you're feeling upset and you have this in your pocket or in your room, you can go get it and just rub it or hold it in your hand and, and just kind of get all those thoughts and feelings out, okay? And then all of a sudden, the stone is holding on to it and you're not, and then you feel better. Okay, so those are just a few things you can do. And so remember, you want to stop and think, then Think of all the other things you can do that can help yourself calm down, okay?
All right, so down below or after this video, go ahead and post all the things that you come up with, whether you painted your own hand or you went out and found a rock and you painted it um, that you can use as a worry stone or a sad stone. Or um, if you find a sock that you rolled up that you're gonna use as a stress ball and squeeze when you're feeling upset, show us that, put it down below. We would love to see a picture of what you're using. All right, Terrell Tigers, you know what? We are here for you. We miss you terribly, but we will see you soon, and we love you so much.